To my beautiful queen, I have no words to say how I feel on this very day. We are literally here and I am about to stare at my future right through your beautiful eyes. There is no other place I want to be. This is it. You are all I need in this world. God could take everything from me, but as long as you are here, I am good to go. Patrice and Jason, anybody worth having is worth keeping. And your self-worth is more than anything on this world. But it's hard for us to give up our baby. It's hard. Jason, you know how I am. But I love you. And I knew that you were the right choice and the right one for my baby. I am a delighted to have me a new son in my life. <laughs> And God had blessed me today, on this day, to have Jason Ferguson to be my son. Now Jason, your queen is a determined woman. And she's been that way all of her life. When she's set on something, she is doing just that. Patrice, you're such an amazing woman. Anytime I've been overwhelmed and needed someone, she has never hesitated to be there for me. Jason, I want you to know that you are the very best part of me. I couldn't imagine journeying throughout life with anyone else. I find comforting you, I find peacing you, and I feel the most safe and protected when I'm with you. As we journey into our forever together, I promise to work to love you better for the rest of our lives and to always put your needs before my own. As I stand here today and look into your comforting eyes, I realize that everything I went through in life was for a reason. Just over six years ago, I was basically homeless, jobless, and broke beyond means. But then you walked into my life and it lit this raging fire within me that no water, no fire extinguisher, and certainly no other human being can ever put out. I stand here today promising a lifetime of protection, trust, and loyalty. I promise to always be faithful and committed to you. I promise to never go to bed angry or without telling you I love you. I promise to always be a shoulder for you to lean on when we're facing trying times. I promise to support all of your dreams and goals. I'm so excited to be your wife. I love you more than all of the stars in the sky, and I cannot wait to say I do. Now let's get married. <laughs> all I know is we've got love, love, love. We've got love, love, love. And all we need is love, love, love. We've got it. Jason, the woman whose hands you hold loves you very much, and so I ask you, will you take her to be your wife and lifelong partner? Will you forever love her, respect her, and believe in her? Do you promise to encourage and inspire her, to always be honest with her, and to stand by her side through whatever may come? I do, absolutely. Patrice, the man whose hands you hold loves you very much. And so I ask you, will you take him to be your husband and lifelong partner? Will you forever love him, respect him, and believe in him? Do you promise to encourage and inspire him to always be honest with him and to stand by his side through whatever may come? I do. Jason, let her work her magic. Keep God as your foundation and remember why you chose each other and the love that you have for one another. I love you and may God bless your union. When I first met Patrice, I liked her, but I didn't want to like her because just like everybody else knew, I knew too. 
And there was something in me that said, this is the one that's taking my baby for good. But I'm so glad that the Lord brought the two of you together. And I love you, Patrice. And you didn't take my baby away. You gave me another daughter. Because life has a tendency to throw you little curves, and we all need help. And I'd like you to know that if I'm around, I'll be there for you as well. Have a good evening, and God bless you all. I want you to know, no matter what fight happens, the good, the bad, I'm here for the long haul, period. I would have waited a lifetime for you. We are here now, so through the night, think about the love and joy that we share. We are in this together. Love, your husband.